Um, I'm going to be doing a brief demonstration this morning. Um, this is a standard pair of police issue handcuffs uh, and this, even though it's a little hard to see, is the standard handcuff key. Um, <clears throat> when you go to handcuff a suspect, uh, obviously you attach one end of the bracelet to the individual's wrist. Um, I'm not going to put this on myself this morning because sometimes handcuffs do have a tendency to get stuck once they're on an individual and the only way to cut them off is with bolt cutters. Um, but um, just to show you, you put the bracelet on like this and you spin this in around like that. Um, it's very dangerous to put handcuffs on an individual. Uh, this part is very sharp, can cause a lot of injury. Uh, should the person wrestle this away from you and use it to attack you. Um, so you have to be very careful about things like that. Uh, but anyways, uh, what I wanted to demonstrate this morning was that when you put handcuffs on people, you don't just open them up like this, affix it to their wrist, and close it. You can probably hear it clicking. That's so that you can adjust it to make sure that it fits properly. The real thing I wanted to show you this morning was the process known as double locking. On the end of the handcuff here, it's really kind of hard to see, but there's a tiny little hole right down here. And on the end of the handcuff key, there's a little pointy end right here, and this end goes in that hole. When you do it, you push in, you'll hear a little click. This locks the cuff in place. You can see that it will not go through the mechanism anymore. It won't open and it won't tighten up anymore. This is so that once you put the handcuffs on the individual behind their backs, when you put them in the squad car and they lean back against the cuffs, it doesn't continue to tighten up. Without double locking, if the person sat back against the handcuffs, it would just continue to close and get tighter and tighter and tighter on the wrist. Now, obviously, that can cut off the circulation. Um, it could potentially fracture the wrist. Uh, and it can just leave you with all kinds of liability issues. So whenever you handcuff an individual, you always want to make sure you use the end of the key and put it in the little hole down here and double lock the handcuffs. That will protect them and it will protect you from liability.